Abercrombie and Fitch proof. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little re-review on this Abercrombie and Fitch proof. Now, I think I did review this a number of years ago. I think I was even outside when I was doing these reviews. So at one point I went and bought pretty much as much vintage Abercrombie as I could. I don't know if you guys have followed my channel, but Abercrombie fragrances absolutely blow me away. I'm kind of known as the fierce guy to certain people at certain times. We had a guy creating fragrances and kind of mastering Abercrombie and Fitch. His name was Mike Jeffries and he left in 2014. So most people who love Abercrombie and Fitch or the vintage Abercrombie and Fitch like things that were created by Mike Jeffries. And for me, I am very, very, very blown away with almost everything that classic Abercrombie did. And I'm surprised for how many people like fragrances on YouTube, how little any of these fragrances were studied because even after going into something like Sephora, if I compare the scents that I would smell from Abercrombie versus Sephora, they were always so much more unique. I mean, this one pretty much is no exception. Now, I gotta say right off the bat, um, I didn't look up the notes. I will put them on screen if they're there, but usually Abercrombie fragrances, there's very little information on them. And if there is notes, there's very few. So I doubt there'll be any online. The main problem that I had with this fragrance on the first review was that it smelled mainly like black pepper. I would say 90%. Not only have a big problem with black pepper, but once you hear that, like, hey, does it smell like black pepper? And you smell it, and you're like, okay, that's all I smell, you know? So I've kind of been hesitant to revisit it just because I know it smells like pepper. And I think sometime last year, I was kind of going through all my old Abercrombies, re-reviewing some of the vintage ones, seeing what I think. And this was one that I absolutely forgot to review. I ended up re-reviewing Abercrombie Hot. I did um, 1892 Yellow and Red as well. So this was like pretty much the only one that I forgot about. So it's nice to re-review it now. And to be honest, guys, it does not smell 100% like pepper anymore. It does have a little bit other nuances, but that pepper vibe is still very, very strong. Very strong. So when I smell this, you know, it, I still get a little bit of that classic, like I get that impressed vibe that I usually get when I smell classic Abercrombie. There's just something about it that's it almost like it has its own character. It's it's somewhat pleasant, but it's different. It just doesn't do what all the other fragrances are doing, you know? I really only smell three things on it. I smell a general freshness. I kind of smell a little bit of a marine vibe, and I smell a lot of that pepper. Now, I was actually really surprised that it's nowhere near as peppery smelling as I remember. Now it does smell very, very peppery, but I get so much more of this freshness and this ocean style vibe. And I, for some reason, I felt like the marketing with Proof had something to do with an ocean. I could be wrong, but it totally fits this fragrance because it's one of the only classic Abercrombies that has a, f well, they, a lot of them are fresh, but kind of like a marine style vibe. Like I can't really think of a classic Abercrombie that has one. You know, you think of Woods, no. Cologne 41, no. Ezra Fitch, no. Like they don't really have marine notes. And to be fair, marine is kind of like common and like Abercrombie doesn't do what everybody else does. At least they didn't. So yeah, this was probably one of the old, only vintage ones that has a marine note. And I do get a little bit of kind of like a, a marine style vibe in there. But anyways, guys, there's not really too much to dive in deep about it. I do appreciate that um, that old classic Abercrombie vibe. I do like that it dances around pepper, marine, and fresh, and it still smells like Abercrombie. It's nice. As far as the projection and longevity, it doesn't last that long, but I mean, it's got a pretty decent fullness though for as long as it does project. Like I would say you'll probably get a good, maybe 90 minutes on this, and you know, you probably will last maybe six, seven, eight hours. Like and if you were to, you know, spray a bunch on your clothes and hug somebody at the end of the day, they probably would smell it. This is definitely something just for the Abercrombie collector. I just like that this has almost like a character to it. It's, it's hard to say, I don't want to say, oh, bring back proof. Everybody's going to buy proof. I don't know about that, but it's like, it just has so much more character than just a random throwaway fragrance. Like I can't tell you how many times I smelled a fragrance that's like, Wow, it's light and safe. Smells like something I smelled before. And it's like, you know, this one definitely does not. And, it, and I gotta say, this probably has the most unique bottle out of any Abercrombie fragrance. And I like that they try to do um, different things with their bottles. Like, yeah, they did the ripped abs guy for a while. 
They had like a woods version and a fierce version, but I just like that they have different bottle designs. So anyways, guys, it's been my review of Proof. If I had to give it a rating, I'd probably give it a solid 7.5. It's very respectable. Uh, I like that it's a little bit different. I like that it's Abercrombie. I like that it's vintage. Nothing really smells like this. I mean, nothing really smells like pepper in the beach, like black pepper in the beach, you know what I mean? It's not like a, a spicy pepper. It's like, no, it smells like, like you know, like some table pepper kind of stuff. But um, I really do enjoy it. And I would say the pepper vibe is about 60 to 70%, but I do get some freshness and some marine notes in there. This one used to be really cheap. I think I got this for like, 30 or 40 bucks a few years ago and this was discontinued for like already i think this came out like mid 2000s maybe late 2000s so this is an old scent so let's see if i got a batch code on here well that's actually kind of sketchy because usually abercrombies have like a four batch code this smells really authentic and it, the bottle seems really authentic but usually there's like four numbers or letters on the bottom and i don't see them so that's a little sketch, but I'm not gonna lie, like this smells very, very high quality. Uh, there's nothing about this that seems like it's off. There was like this eBay seller selling this 2010 Woods and it had the right bottle, but it was just, it was off. Like I literally gave it away. Like you sprayed up the woods and you couldn't smell it for like 20 or 30 minutes later. So that one was obviously fake. This one lasts much longer than that. I just want to say that. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think of Abercrombie and Fitch Proof. Let me know what your favorite Abercrombie fragrance is. Should I re-review any other vintage ones? Let me know which one I should check out. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of your guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully I'm having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.